We're still definitely rusty, but rusty's good. Rusty could mean, you know, I, like a, there's a fine line between like rusty and then and slick, and you could be too much of either one. We had four good but slow practices, so yeah, you're literally witnessing us still practicing. We got a good handful, like maybe five songs that are passable from the new record. We're finally at a place where if it's loose, it'll be okay. But that's yet to be seen, so. In upstate New York, at the Catskills, obviously this is a historic area. We're sort of near Woodstock and all that stuff. This place is vibey as hell. Slip and squirm through the cracks, creep around by the all the loading zones in my dirty little town. Get my shopping done, long for two, drop some dead weight, clean my hands of what I need to clean my hands of. And all for free by mayor of the creek, all from zone to loading zone of my town. Yeah. I was kind of terrified because we just pulled in, it was pouring rain, and there's people on the porch. I heard all these people talking about a port session. Was that like a big money gig, or did you get paid <laughs> off to do this? What, what is this thing? In this a way. Port, this port session. Oh, we'll see if it. Turns into big bucks. <laughs> what is it? I have certain songs that thrive acoustically, and then I have other ones that there's a lot of stuff going on in the recording. And I'm not sure which these ones are yet, but I, yeah, I played some pretty raw versions early on of some of the songs right over there by myself. Try and do bass backwards. Just gonna try. I was on the beach, but I was thinking about the bay. Got to the bay, but by then I was far away. I was on the ground, but looking straight into the sun. But the sun went down, and I couldn't find another one. For a while. Well, because it was a gnaw, burning the feeling in my chest to fill the void. Of a long night unwatched by well the sun. Until the morn, until when will the sun's reborn? And so am I, from all the storm buried deep within the psyche of my soul. Yeah. I was standing down, but I was also on the run in my mind. I was on the radio talking with a friend of mine. There was a no format because, well, we like it like 
like that He was out of his mind And I was way out of mine And everything went backwards With words coming out Fast act words And I appreciate him To the utmost degree Believe I'm Going Down, my last record, came out in 2015, and um, I've kind of been in and out of the studio writing songs ever since then for this. It's like hazy, worn in, and a little, a little trippy. All four of the songs that ended up long I could have picked. I could have pictured them shorter. My rule is, once you stop bobbing your head, you either cut that part out or you fix it somehow. But that's how you know you don't keep it all. Because chances are, if you keep going long, you're gonna want to keep it. I don't know if everybody's gonna get it, but I don't care. If you're gonna want to keep jamming, you're just gonna keep jamming. Oh shit, thanks brother. Does anybody want um Cheers, man. Cheers. Your new Cheers. record sounds great. Did you hear it? This morning. Is it intimidating hanging out with like guys like the like the Sadies who are like fucking master well, musicians and shit? Because I'm I am i am just saying it's so like they're the fucking well, coolest dudes, but, but, but they are night. they're so sick. They did a cover of Baby's Arms with me that made me wanna cry. It was so good. Yes. 
I think I forgot some of it. Yeah, nice. good job. Good I love pull. that song. Did you get it? It's a funny way to learn it, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I used cool. to prefer recording, and now I um. I honestly, nothing feels better than a great live show, but I like to <clears throat> capture that sort of thing in the studio, like just as live as possible. Like One Trick Ponies, I did that song actually, in, in, uh, which is like the poppiest song on the record. I did it in about one day, I and then I came back months later and did something else with Rob Schnapp, who, who did that, and then we listened back. I was like, I'm afraid to hear it. And then you hear it, and you're like, oh, it's good. Just cut this verse out. Add this piano outro and this harmonica. I'm gonna play a guitar solo really quick. If you're just reacting musically, um, things happen that you didn't know you were gonna do, and that, that's what music is supposed to be. It's supposed to be organic like that. It's supposed to like just be a reactions and like moments captured. You give me two weeks, I could ruin something. It's cool to keep trying things, but things things can get lost. So I, I try to. It's a, it's, you know, it's a slippery slope, but uh, ideally, the early stuff is, is, is the stuff you want, usually want to release. Do you write all the time, or do you write to uh, like for the record? I just record and record. Like, I'm never like, oh, I don't map out the record ahead of time. Really, yeah. I'll write down the potential song, but yeah. then there's always more than enough. That's the way I knew I had to do it. Uh, a couple records ago, maybe two in a row, I, I basically would. Uh, do a whole album cycle and then start a new record and then go out again when the record was done. And I just get so deep into the record that I, I can't stomach that ever again. I'll puke. I gotta just, I just gotta like live my life and make music in between everything else, family world, uh, playing live and otherwise. It's just, it's just the way I live. It's been like 10 years since I've been putting records out on real labels, much longer, you know, just myself. I feel like I'm still recording in my bedroom, like trying to keep it candid and real and, you know, not like uh, reinvent myself, but also like rise to the occasion of being a professional musician. In the old days, I used to just get real nervous and trip out in my head, so you could tell maybe the energy of the show was awkward because I was awkward. Like the last record, there was growing pains with that. Like uh, it took a while to get used to playing in the theaters and not losing your mind. My success is always like one step up. And that's not even guaranteeing that this album will like bring me another step of popularity. You know how fast shit can, can go to your head? I, I even read the Willie Nelson uh, autobiography. He said the same thing. He's like, people are saying how the music industry bottomed out, but I say, fuck that. I don't care because all I ever wanted to do was get to the next gig. Now I got to play the next gig. And now they're even saying, some people like try to make an argument. They're like, oh, festivals. Now they're only playing EDM and rap. That's the big stuff. Nobody cares about rock. I was like, that's fine too. I'll just play some club shows. I just like to get down and get get real.
never do a job talking turkey now man in check old man check old man check all the cable in the chain yeah get back at me get back at me when I say to swing up my six strand and it's easy life four five six anybody got it